All right, my friends, we're going to take a look at where the famous change of base formula comes from. Um, let's look at this by way of example. You're trying to solve uh, the equation 3 to the x power equals 10. So we're trying to figure out what x is in this case. Well, one strategy for approaching this is to rewrite that relationship as a logarithm. And so the way to rewrite this, would this would be log base 3 of 10 equals x. So the left-hand side of that means it's the exponent that you would put on 3 in order to get 10. That's what log base 3 of 10 even means. Well, as it turns out by the so-called change of base formula, you can rewrite this as log 10 divided by log 3. And that's useful because, well, a lot of simple calculators only have a log base 10 key or a log key and not a log base 3 key, and so that's why this is kind of useful. So if you punch that into a calculator, log of 10 divided by log of 3, you'll get about 2.096, right? But we use this fishy little formula, change of base formula, to go from log of base 3 to a uh, common log or log of base 10. Well, so let's try to get an idea where that came from. Well, another way that you could solve this 3 to the x equals 10 is to take the common log of both sides, or the log of base 10 of both sides. So then you'd have log 3x equals log 10. Well, if you take the log of 3 to the x power, what that will do is, well, you can bring down the exponent x as a coefficient in front, and you'll have x log 3 is log 10. Well, now solving for x, you realize you get the exact same thing that we got before. So indeed, x is just log 10 over log 3. Another method we could use is take the natural log of both sides. In that case, you'd have ln of 3x equals ln of 10. Uh, once again, though, we can pull down the exponent as a coefficient. So you'd have x ln 3 is, is ln 10. And then we could solve that for x. Well, it turns out then that x is either log 10 over log 3 or natural log 10 over natural log 3. Uh, this is very useful because calculators tend to have a common log key or a natural log key, um, but you often have to navigate through menus to get to a log of base 3 key. Well, so we've just learned something useful and important then. If you have a situation like log base 3 of 10, well, you could type that into a calculator. It's just log 10 over log 3 or ln 10 over ln 3. So to just look at another example, if you had log base 8 of 2, people don't tend to work in base 8 very often. Um, what this would be is log 8 over log 2 or ln of 8 over ln 2. And that leads us to the general result. If you have log base A of B, that's just going to be equal to log B over log A or natural log B over natural log A. Um, so this is our famous change of base formula. Um, as a matter of fact, here we've done log B over log A or natural log B over natural log A. You can actually use this relationship with, uh, well, with any base. This could be log base 2 of B over log base 2 of A. So just wanted you to see where that came from, and I knew when it was presented this way, um, I got it a little quicker myself as a student um, after I saw this. So hope you enjoyed and hope it was helpful.